The Fishing News is brought to you by Intellux Marine Paint, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma. Tis the season. Of course, I don't have to tell you if you're anything like me. You've got plenty of last-minute shopping to do for the rest of the week and into the weekend. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine, and it's a relatively mild Christmas weekend ahead of us, although we've got some showers in the forecast for Saturday, of course, we fish on. And in between all those opportunities you have with your family and friends this weekend, there are certainly a few opportunities to be had along the Jersey and Delaware coast. Of course, blackfish being the best bet, and there's some big fish out there biting as well. Um, a lot of big tog in the 75 to 80 foot stretches of water, according to Captain Pete Sykes aboard Parker Pete's in Belmar. Now that skipper had his personal best uh, just last week, a recent trip, a 28 inch 15 pounder that's still out there as a matter of fact. Pete's one of those guys who likes to release those big tog. So this one was released to fight another day. Always a good idea with those big slow growing tog. You know, we've got those, uh, those limits in place, those smaller ones just over the size limit. Great to bring back, but a lot of folks do release those giant tog. Uh, a lot of boats sailing, or the boats that are still sailing, are heading out for blackfish along the blackfish grounds uh, with a couple of different bait choices. The green crab, of course, uh, most often what you'll find on the party and charter boats. Some of them will also have white leggers. They're a lot harder to find this time of year. You guys down in Delaware seem to refer to those white leggers more along the lines of Jonah crabs. But again, the party boats are out. The party boats that are sailing are looking for blackfish and also black sea bass. Uh, they're sailing offshore for sea bass and porgies in the next couple of weeks, and there have been a few monsters that have been reported to us back here at thefisherman.com. Don't forget, of course, the coast-wide limit on black sea bass ends at the end of this year, so you only have another couple of weeks to take advantage of that until black sea bass season closes on December 31st. Thanks again, Noah. Merry Christmas to you as well. Don't forget uh, our back bay striper season in New Jersey also comes to an end at the end of this month. It closes on December 31st. I've been getting some questions about that. Folks asking if you can still catch and release in those creeks and tributaries and those warm water locations. The answer is no. Uh, from January 1st until March 1st, the Back Bay Stripe Bass season in New Jersey is closed. That means no catch and release either. So it is a violation to go out and look for those fish. But you still have that opportunity for a couple of small stripers in those warm water areas. Out front, stripers are still out in the mix. As Tommy Frieda let me know the other day that he had them off Seeger trolling shad rigs on Friday. Um, it's been mostly a pick at this point. Uh, there are a few fish out there uh, in the surf as well. Guys finding a nice day going out with swim shads, um, sandy eel limitations, mostly a pick of small fish. But of course, there are a couple of bigger ones out front. Right before the chill, midweek last week, Cody and Dennis Segic uh, had 30 fish in the middle of last week um, trolling mojos. They had them up to 21.6 and 28 pounds checked into Fanatics in Ocean City. While the Cape Queen charters down in Cape May County, she says they're going to continue to sail for striped bass open charters all the way through January as long as those fish are still out there. Again, a, a lot of hide and seek with those stripers. Uh, within the three mile line, but there's still a few to be had there on the troll. It has been a slow go for the guys in Delaware. The ones we've spoken to said it seems like that one wave of big fish that they had a few weeks ago came and went pretty fast. In fact, most of the big striped bass are now down along the Virginia Beach and Cape Charles area of Virginia. If you're looking for some true trophies, you might want to head west or northwest, depending on where your location is. Jack Matlos, he caught and released this 51 inch muskie at the Monksville Reservoir in Passaic County. We've got a great uh, giant trophy muskie fishery that has been growing in the Garden State in the last number of years. Definitely worth an opportunity. We're also getting reports of a few flatfish. Um, some uh, winter flounder have appeared, especially in the Belmar Shark River area, as well as some herring and some shad. If you're looking for uh, inlet light tackle action, uh, those herring are always a great opportunity, and it's nice to hear a few winter flounder showing up. Of course, summer flounder has been the big story in the last few weeks. We updated you in the video segment last week. We've also posted online an article for you to check out. It's at thefisherman.com that talks about those coming fluke options that we're, uh, we're going to be faced with in the coming months. 
Now, if you want more on that, go to thefisherman.com and mark your calendar in New Jersey for January 5th. Galloway Township branch of the Atlantic County Library, Jimmy Leeds Road in Galloway Township. There's a 630 fluke presentation. We're going to get the official word on those fluke options that are coming. Of course, the New Jersey Marine Fisheries Council meets on that day. That's January 5th at 4 p.m. But let's pack that house. Let's make sure as many folks who are angry uh, show up at that meeting and let's voice our concerns and our frustrations. Again, those, uh, those fluke limits will eventually be finalized sometime in March, April, uh, and especially when the Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission and Mid-Atlantic Council gets together in February. But for the next couple of months, let's see if we can't speak our mind and get that out there. As a matter of fact, a last minute uh, holiday gift idea comes to us from Phil and the crew at Fishing Nations. How about wearing a shirt like this? Uh, down there at that meeting in Galloway Township. Well, I, th I think that would be about perfect. You can check more on that at Fishing Nations and the Tackle Box. No email alert next Tuesday, folks, uh, for the holiday. Uh, we're not going to come back again in with an email alert until next Thursday. Uh, that's the 29th. We're working hard right now here in the office uh, to try to get everything squared away for the January edition of the Fisherman Magazine. That will go to print next weekend as well. But if you're not signing up for these email alerts or you've got a friend, make sure you tie him in to these email alerts. And again, we'll send the regular update again next Thursday. Saturday is Christmas Eve. It's also the first day of Hanukkah. So I hope you're, you've got plans to enjoy that time with family and friends. And if you could sneak away and get a little bit of fishing action in, all the better. We will see you next week. Have a wonderful holiday weekend. And join us, of course, for the updates over at thefisherman.com. The Fishing News is brought to you by Intellux Marine Paint, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma.